Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back by popular demand, you have USB 271. Uh, taking apart a, um, a friend of mine's a, uh, a um, sprinkler technician or, uh, uh, you know, known him for a while. And he, he's, he came to me with a question, why on earth is my Rainbird system losing 15 minutes every month like every every so often it'll just uh, uh, it'll lose 15 minutes and and this is on and this is on the clock uh, clock setting itself which with these they're uh, they're navigated to a um, to a centralized clock system uh, via radio wave and sometimes you'll get a little bit of an interference but everything I came back to had nothing to do with the internal components minus one thing. And uh, it's very, it's a very common issue. This is a uh, Rainbird SST 6, uh, 600S. And what it boiled down to was the, uh, the internal battery was messed up. Because because these things sit in the warehouse for, for years. I mean, the product assembly comes out and then you'll get a, uh, you'll get a, um, and then they finally ship out to the stores, and those sit there for a year, depending on, on inventory. Because I mean, these things are cheap; they're 100, 141 bucks, uh, you know, give or take. So what tends to happen is the internal battery goes bad on these things, even though the little pull tab isn't it, 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 is, isn't pulled. There's no there's no voltage coming off the battery itself, and when it's not engaged, it will it will continue to run. So what what we do here. Is we access the battery. On this one, on some of them, you have the nine volt battery sources down here, but he 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 is specified for for this style of model. So it's the SST six six hundred S. And the cool thing about these is they don't have a nine volt battery source down here, which would be usually located down here. Uh, instead, it's actually on the board. And to get to that, I shall show you. You essentially have to take off these uh, these four screws. So one one here, one here, one here, and one down in there. T typical small Phillips number ones. Uh, take a long long screwdriver, and before you take anything else apart, you want to remove the the, um, the dial indicator, pull the board, pull, pull the whole assembly off. Normally there would be a normally this would be down there, but take it off. And you remove. Now, now you got in the brain box up, which is kind of funny because you have you have your LED, you have your uh, um, multi, you have your push button sources, and then you have ability for expansion. Now, the only thing stopping this thing from expanding out would be this little guy, you know, zone six. But you, but if you change the dial and change and, and add resistors to this. And add um, programming chips to this. You can essentially have yourself, a, I'm assuming, a 13, 13 unit system. It's kind of funny. It's you never know until you know. So what we ended up doing was we went on down to uh, to the last last hardware store we know, Ace Hardware, um, and we came across some uh, some lithium CR2. Three twos, which is a three volt lithium cell, and lithium is good because it's a it's rechargeable. It's um it's able to re to to, 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 to hold its to hold and and issue its charge compared to a lead acid or a dry cell. Now you want to wipe off as much fingerprints as you can off these things because these will corrode on the outside. And that's why you get some schmoo on there, and you slowly slip that bad boy in there. Insert the system and reassemble like so. Actually, I think I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Yes, I am missing something. Where did you go? You're probably right in front of me. There you are. All right. These are actually built rel relatively all right. Um, really easy. Uh, Really easy to go to to, uh, to look after. Um, 
minus a couple things. I mean, this this board was built in um, June uh, June of '01, so that kind of describes that little fiasco. When you insert over said area, like so. Oh no no fucked up fucked up okay ah just like this it goes like this this little tab on the bottom on the bottom side of that so you kind of have to hold that in place while you assume the position but yeah all right that's that's pretty much it uh, um always always have this in, in an area where where you can where it is not too too far blocked because the bad things tend to happen when it's when when you can't receive it's, it, it, it's radio frequency such as like inside of a inside of a steel box well if you, if if it's in steel or if it's in a, anywhere anywhere in a closed circuit you're going to you're going to have a, a deficit in relay in radio function so a screw on the back side of it that kind of holds all this all this crap together. Oh. And you insert so control knob, close door. And while it's in the vertical function, you want to insert first set set screw. Hopefully it grabs. Here we go, grab. But yeah, no, that's um, that's kind of it. I mean, it, it, it loses it loses a lot of its. Uh, I mean, when I pulled the battery out of this, it was at, it was at a flat zero. There was no there was no um no charge for uh, for, for the positive side for the negative side. Check with my trusty voltmeter. Um, a oh crap, a gardener bender. If uh, someone wants to send me a new one, please feel free to. I'm not impartial to Greenly, not impartial to Fluke. Depends on how much money you have. Uh, go spend a, a lot on the counting. Anyway, so now what we do is we provide power to her, and hopefully my. Awesome circuitry doesn't go out. Okay. Beautiful. Now it won't it won't tell you when the battery is going bad. It, it, it will it will flash at you saying, yeah, there's a um there is an issue with it. Uh and it'll just continuously to drop off from that point. But other than that, uh, I mean it's it, it's it's pretty simple. At least from that aspect, everything else is kind of Wi-Fi oriented nowadays, so you kind of go from there. But anyway, um, that's all she wrote, boys and girls. Uh, thank you, Mr. Walters, for uh, everything. Later.